President, allow me to ride on established protocols and take this opportunity once again to welcome you to Homa Bay, to this investment conference, and to what we called the Bay of Endless Potential. As a leadership from Homa Bay County, we are conscious that investors are always looking for political signals whether a destination is fit for investment. As a leadership, we are committed to a new brand of politics, politics that is progressive enough to address issues of justice and political rights while at the same time addressing issues of economic and social rights. And we can assure you, if you want to put your money in Homer Bay, we, the political class, will be at the forefront of making sure that your investments are safe and uninterrupted. Your Excellency, in the last one or two days, we have received feedback on some of the things that we need to fast track. The first feedback that I came across was, let us focus on local investors. A lot of young people, probably people within my demographic, with a little disposable income, are now putting their money in infrastructure bonds, yielding them 16 to 17% or money market funds. I want to encourage the investment corporation that we are establishing in Homer Bay today to build a proper pipeline of bankable projects so that our middle class and our professionals can move their money from commercial banks and bring it so that we can open the, the potential around Lake Victoria and all those things that we have listened to. International investors are driven by many factors, some that are geopolitical, but local investors have got no other country. And the feedback we got was that we must talk to our local investors for them to bring their money to Homer Bay. Your Excellency, we have also received feedback that for those who are already doing business in Homer Bay, especially doing business with the county government or doing business with the national government, we must make sure that we pay them promptly because when they are paid, that money circulates back in the economy. And Your Excellency, in the Senate, we are considering the prompt payment bill. And we hope that if this bill is enacted into law, it can provide certain assurances for local investors. Your Excellency, another problem that we have is multiplicity of licenses and tariffs. You will agree with me, and this is a conversation we had when Governor Sakaja was still a senator, that, for example, an outdoor advertising company with a presence across the country might need 47 licenses, each per county. Your Excellency, uh, investors are saying that we need to ensure that we reduce the tariffs and barriers, the duplication of taxes. A typical hotel establishment requires close to 10 permits, ranging from copyright licenses, fire licenses, NEMA licenses. So we must make sure as a political class, the 20 members of parliament who are here, that we go back and craft legislation that reduces the burden on investors. On this, Your Excellency, we've got the Uniform Licensing Procedures Bill that is before the Senate, and we hope that we can provide some hope for the country. Finally, Your Excellency, the other feedback we got is that we must leverage on economies of scale. Homa Bay, with a target population of one million, is fairly good, but the Lake Region Economic Block, with 15 million residents and 10 counties, perhaps provides better synergies and better economies of scale. In the last parliament, I do recall when we were with the, uh, Senator Orengo, we tried coming up with a legal framework to anchor le uh, regional economic blocks in law. We were not successful, but this time round, I am happy to report that Senator Catherine Muma in the Devolution Committee are working to ensure that we revive that legislation so that the Lake Region Economic Bloc, which had very good leadership during the times of Governor Paranya and very able leadership right now with Professor Nyongo, who will be here tomorrow, can have the capacity to engage, can have the capacity to receive funds from counties, and that these investors, the next investment conference, would probably be one for the Lake Region Economic Bloc. Your Excellency, as I conclude, this morning, as is usual, I was looking at the Bible, and I came across Jeremiah 
29.11. And the message I saw there would apply to our president, Railamo Lodinga, would apply to Kalonzo Musioka and the leadership of the Azimio coalition. Jeremiah 29.11 is a verse of hope, and it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Our principles in the Azimio coalition, God has a plan. Right Honorable Raila Molodinga, God has a plan for you. If it is to be the commissioner or the chairman of the Africa Union, that is God's plan. And I am confident. Many people have asked, what is in it for us? I recently visited Egypt in the company of the Right Honorable Prime Minister. And they were discussing with the government of Egypt how we can open a navigation channel between the Mediterranean and Lake Victoria. That is such an earth-shaking, life-changing initiative which if it could be delivered in our generation, I can tell you the center of gravity of Kenya will shift from the mountain to the lake. And I can tell you it will no longer matter who becomes the president of Kenya because this region would have been opened up. May God bless you and may God fulfill that hope. Thank you. Uh, thank you.